Well, it's always a delight to follow Italian football. Martin Tyler here with you again. Alan Smith is with me again. And we have Calcio, our football for you. I think sometimes in recent years, Alan, uh, Italian football has not had the profile and the platform that it really deserves. And, you know, we're thrilled to be doing Juventus against Milan. Well, we are. And it's fallen behind a little bit, hasn't it, in recent years, back in the... 80s they were top dogs of European football quite often these Italian teams, but I think they're on the way back Well, I know I'm looking forward to having a look at these two Alan obviously it's a team game But they're intriguing individuals aren't they they are and uh, they don't just play for themselves Which is the satisfying thing they lift the head if there's a ball to be played rather than shooting themselves They will play that ball This is the Milan lineup. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the goalkeeper. Alessio Romagnoli plays with Gabriel Paletta in central defence. Juraj Kuchka plays with Ricardo Montalivo in central midfield. Carlos Bacca is the main striker today. The Juventus lineup then. Gigi Buffon plays in goal. Leonardo Bonucci starts with Giorgio Chiellini as the centre backs. Sami Kadira plays alongside Claudio Marchisio in the middle of the park. In attack, Gonzalo Higuain starts. Paolo Di Bala. Well, there have been some awkward times for Milan recently. One thing that's never, never decreased is the impact of this stadium. I know they share it, um, but it is a proper football amphitheatre. It certainly is when it's full. I don't know if make a, a noise, these fans, and uh, the fact they do share it with Inter doesn't seem to detract from the, the atmosphere they do create. Kuchka. Good forward play from them. Kuchka! Very good stop here. And the corner might be coming in now, right into the heart of this Juventus penalty area. Here's Danny Alves. Dybala. I'm sure we're going to get a better occasion, although the football purists loved it, actually. That 2003 Champions League final between Juventus and Milan played in Manchester, which didn't have a goal and went to a penalty shootout. I think we'll get goals today. Well, we've got uh, some wonderful strikers on show who are in decent form, too, so I'm not anticipating a goalless draw. Niang. Possession changes feet. Montalivo. Carlos Baca onto the attack now. The break is definitely on. Oh, can you believe it? It is a penalty. Oh, it's a yellow card. Look at the opposition, they want a red, but maybe there was a man on the cover. That's why it's yellow. That was an easy decision for the ref. Well, it is. He saw the ball and he thought he could win it, but just a fraction off. Oh, well, he took the responsibility, but he didn't take the chance from the spot. Well, he's bottled it, I think, there, and scoffed his shot. Here's Danny Alves. Challenges for the ball. Abate. Kuchka. Attacking play from Milan. 
And in goes the cross. And shoots! Well, in the clear, and he's made a total hash of it. Just panicked, I think. He lost his nerve at the vital moment. Marquisio. Claudio Marquisio. Read the play well to intercept. Milan are attacking now. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Baka! First goal is always a crucial goal, and they've just got it. How about that goal for sheer class? The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. Well, it was just perfect from the delivery to the finish. Top marks. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Mario Marquisio. Here's Alexandro. Miralem Pjanic. And attacking now Juventus. He might be through. Marquisio! And it's a goal here. Whoa, oh, this is end-to-end -end stuff, isn't it? I hope we're in for a bit more of the same. Well, the equaliser has happened. Took perhaps the opposition by surprise. But we're level again. It's what they've deserved. Well, let's take another look at the goal. So, away we go at one all. Here's Honda. Alexandro. And getting into attacking positions here, Juventus. Marquisio. He could do a better cross than that, I think. And it was easy to cope with. Bonaventura. Well, this is great teamwork, the way they're knocking the ball around. Just working away to try and find an opening. Niang. Montalivo. Shots on here. Kuchka! He's blocked that well. Kedira. Tibala. Mario Marquisio. Got it back again from his teammate. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. He's got his shot off now. And the goalkeeper with a textbook save and keeps the ball in his grasp. Montalivo. Here's Honda. Carlos Baca, good challenge. Miralem Pjanic, Iguayi, trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Excellent passing, great interplay. He's read that, hasn't he? And made the interception, made it look easy, actually. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Miralem Pjanic. Well, they're in a good position here.
Here's Dani Alves. Makes a challenge here. The break is definitely on. Baka! And that's the goal that puts them in front. Felt sorry for the goalkeeper, really. Totally exposed and left helpless. Yeah, you do have to feel sorry for him because uh, what could he do in that situation? And the way that they used the ball past it at the right time, he had no chance at all. Juventus have gone behind them. Miralem Pjanic. Mario Marchisio. Of course, Juventus have shown they're capable of going through a whole season unbeaten. At the moment, they are trailing him. The shot's on! Juventus have won a corner now. Carlos Baca, Montalivo. And it's Milan trying to attack now. And that ball belongs to the goalkeeper. Well, this is half-time, that's the whistle. And 2-1 is the score at this stage. A brilliant first half from this fella. On top of his game out there, and I'm sure he'll be thinking about grabbing his hat-trick in the second half. Well, he's run his race to forward, including two goals. He certainly finished those chances well, and uh, it just gives someone else an opportunity for the remainder of the game. It does, and it will do his confidence the world a good going into the next few weeks, and as we all know, that's what strikers thrive on, confidence. Juventus get the second half underway. Alexandro. Miralem Pjanic. Juventus on the attack. And in goes the cross. Sosa. Luis Adriano made the challenge well. Montalivo. Well, this attack. Space for the shot. What a fine save. With this goal advantage, they've now got a corner. <laughs> Paletta, great stop. And he's knocked it out of play, the defender. Well, there's going to be an alteration now, and with the team trailing, you can understand why he's going to make it. Sosa. Montalivo. Promising build-up until that challenge. Higuain on the attack. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. It goes out wide again. 
That's a turnover in play. Look at the shot count so far. Three shots, three on target for Juventus. Well, on another day, they'll hope to create more chances than this, but of the ones that they have, they've done really well. Confident and quality on the ball. Kedira! He's kept it out. Juventus with a corner to try and get back on level terms. Well, we're two-thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. Suso. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Honda! It comes out of the goalkeeper. Attacking well here. And it's a shot now! Sosa. Bonaventura. Probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. Game goes on for Juventus, thanks to the referee playing the advantage. Gonzalo Higuain, Marquisio, and they're passing so well out there. Claudio Marquisio, now he's looking for support. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they've still got the ball. Gets his foot in there. Still 20 minutes to go. He does read the game well, this lad. Here's Dani Alves. And getting into attacking positions here, Juventus. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Well, this is great teamwork, the way they're knocking the ball around. Good play, but they've lost the ball now. The opposition can get at them. Well, here comes the support. Should be! And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. read by the defender Juventus I think feeling a bit desperate here well the manager on the sidelines has made his intentions clear he's waving this could be it here the challenge is a good one so a few minutes left for Juventus to try and get something from the game doesn't look likely in truth Gonzalo Higuain brilliant football from this team here's Alexandra Kedira! Great hands. It's a terrific effort by the home side here. They've just kept their noses in front. They're going to need all the support they can get for that to continue to the final whistle. Yeah, if they do end up winning this, they will have their fans to thank because they've been terrific out there today. It's Juventus still looking for an equaliser. Here's a chance, going to try his luck. Well, they thought they were done for, but now they've equalised. Well, I think the opposition switched off, but... Wow, the goal scorer did, did he? Right on his toes. It's an equaliser for Juventus. They're level again. Oh, what a response from the Italians. We can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. Game restarts at 2 2. Here's Honda. A 
Abate. Played back. Well, they're in a good position here. How frustrating is this for the other team trying to get the touch of the ball? And he's got his block in, and the cross doesn't get into the middle. Higuain. That will be two added minutes. And with Juventus, with the players are a bit unhappy about this, but we can see it again, whether it should have been offside or not. It was called offside. Well, who would be a linesman, but this linesman, he's one of the best, and he gets it right here. Banjoni. Bonaventura. They could have got through there, but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Then in the shot, go! Well, it was a big opportunity, and it's turned out to be a very big miss. Well, he's just swung the boots at it, and in the end, it's flew by by an absolute mile. So, really the wrong decision from him. Well, it's still level, and there is the final whistle after 90 minutes.